Hi, it's Barbara Greenlee with Green Moon Stamp Studio, and this is just a quick video to show you a project using some of the free celebration items. Let's get started. This is the card I'm going to make today in this video using the detailed dogwood stamp set. Uh, this one is a celebration set, and we're also going to use celebration paper for the background and to stamp on. Uh, which is from the softly stippled paper. Um, it's got uh, some colorful stippled designs in it, but it also has some neutral texture backgrounds that are pebbled path. So that's what we're using. Uh, let's see the other side is this coral stippled rose design. And um, this one, the other side, is these stippled flowers. So let's get started on that. Oh, here's my envelopes. I love this stamp set. So this is the detailed dogwood. Here's the stamp set. It's got a lot of texture. Um, it's got these dots, this thing. And then uh, the dragonfly. I love the dragonfly. Um, any set that's got a dragonfly, I'm probably going to own that one. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find a place to put the dragonfly on the front of the card. I did try it over here, but it got, just got too busy. So I used the dragonfly on the envelopes. So, and there's another flower in there. But anyway, so this is a really simple card. You're just going to fold your black card base in half. And then you're going to stamp your flowers. So we're going to stamp the flowers directly on the paper. We're going to use the Memento Tuxedo Black. And this is a large stamp, so usually when it's a larger stamp like this, I ink it up this way. So... That allows you to make sure that you've got adequate ink everywhere. Then we're just going to stamp it right on here. And I'm going to slide it off and go like this. That'll make sure that the middle of my flowers all that detail got stamped on there. Okay, then I'm going to stamp this little hashtag. I already got ink on me. <laughs> Up in the top corner. Get it a little closer to my face so I can see if I'm straight. Right there. And across the bottom. Okay, and then we're going to stamp it one more time on white because we're going to raise up these flowers. So these are just going to be fussy cut. So let's see, where did the stamp go? So we just need the flowers. It doesn't matter about the stems. flowers and leaves. So as long as you get that on there, but I made my paper big enough that it all fits. So, okay, that looks good. That one is a little bit light. You can always try it again on the other side. Let's do that. Okay, that's a little darker. So for cutting out, um, we're just going to cut out this one. We're going to cut out this little bud right there. So I'm just kind of highlighting here what you're going to cut out. And then on the bottom one, I cut out these two leaves too. So 
just kind of trimming away some of this extra so I know what I'm cutting out that kind of kind of helps so now we're gonna fussy cut all of these out so I cut that one out can cut this one out when you cut this one out um, I trimmed it right on the line of the flower where it was next to another flower and where I could leave a white border I did so same with the leaves I, I cut it right on the the border there I left these two leaves connected because I'm going to pin down the middle of that on the card and show you that see how that part is pinned down in the middle and then uh, we just have this little bud left so this one you can leave a little bit of white on the bottom part and then where it touches the other flowers just follow the outline of the of the image so there's that little tiny bud okay so now we're going to use some dimensionals and start putting this together let's see lost my tape found it you always think you have everything and lo and behold whoa whoops ripped the paper I always use the more aggressive tape I just like it better but because it's more aggressive you have to have a little bit of a lighter touch or it will um, sometimes rip the paper not usually though I'll just put it over here there we go <laughs> you didn't see that <laughs> okay so this is just your normal five and a quarter by four piece of designer paper and then we're going to have this mat here we will put this on right onto the mat that we stamped our flower on and then I used some black dimensionals to pop this up see I could put one one in the middle because I don't have anything in the middle that that's gonna land on decided to use the black and white grid paper since I'm doing a black and white card <laughs> I've got to order some more of that uh, color I love those in color grid papers okay now you can manipulate your flowers some before you put them on I, I did that on one of my samples and forgot to do it on the on the other one before I stuck the flowers down So you got to figure out which flower let's see this one is this one right here and I like how it like breaches so time for my clock to go off and same with the with the leaves you can manipulate the leaves this like brings your whole project to life I'm just going to do the outside edges of the leaves here because I'm going to do a, a glue dot here so we'll put a dimensional here and a glue dot right here between that so let's pick up the glue dot and you're going to probably want to fold it over because it's a little bit too fat for that little area right there 
Okay, so this one's easy to know which way it goes since you've got the leaves. Okay, so that, oh, we still have this little guy. This little bud, and I've got uh, some of the baby black dimensionals for it. You could use white too, doesn't matter. And let me stick that on right there. So that gives that, that height to it. All right, now we have our, and they did not say this in the, in the catalog, but um, the, uh, this detailed dogwood, um, that little image uses the best label punch. So um, I went ahead and did some of these ahead of time because, whoops. And it went all the way to the floor. Of course. <laughs> okay, so this also on a dimensional. I probably could have done the, the big dimensional. Looks like it's wide enough to put this up in the corner here. And I, I'm kind of feeling to where my other dimensional is because I want to kind of offset it some. All right, then the little wink of Stella on the centers of the flowers. It's really something you can mostly just see in person. Put a little here in the background one too to tie that in. It uh, it brightens it up some and gives it a little bit of a little bit of glitter. And one other thing I thought might be fun is to use um, I've got an old Stampin' Up chalk Stampin' chalk marker. You may own this if you've been doing Stampin' Up a while. Um, I thought I would put a number on here. So like number two, I can do number one. My chalk marker is kind of old, but that gives it a little look as it dries. You can really see it. We're talking about love. I think um, the number two works good. So yeah, add a little, little number there. Okay, and then um, for the envelope and the inside, um, I think I already showed you that, but I'll show you close up. Um, here's my envelopes and did the same thing on the inside. So however you want to do those dragonflies and the, the other flowers. And then I heat embossed the love for the front. We're missing that part. So um, this love comes from Heartfelt Hellos, which is also Celebration. So we're using all Celebration products. Um, the Heartfelt Hellos stamp set, the Detailed dogwood stamp set is also celebration. The softly stippled designer paper that we're using is celebration. You know, so um, the, since you're using black, you probably want to do the, uh, I always forget what that's called, the embossing buddy. <laughs> and then you'll want uh, Versamark ink. stamp this love in. And we're just going to hand trim that after we heat emboss it with the white embossing powder. Always cover up your Versamark before you do your powder.
That looks good. Now we're going to heat emboss this. This needs to warm up for just a second. But I just used it, so. Let's see if it's all shiny. Yep, all shiny. Then we're going to hand trim this. I just gave it a little angle. Actually, I want to go closer. And then an angle down here, about the same angle. I'm going to cut a little bit more off of the bottom. That looks good. If you're uh, not on my mailing list, you should definitely get on my mailing list. If you just go to greenmoonstampstudio.com, you can get on my mailing list, and then I'll uh, keep you informed of things going on, project ideas. I have uh, contests. I'm running a contest right now. And uh, links to to other information and my videos and everything. It's just good to be on the mailing list. You also get a free tutorial when you sign up on my mailing list. Okay, that's on with the dimensionals. Let's see what is left. Just the little gems. So I love these. These are the adhesive back sparkle gems. Let's see, I might have enough black ones left in this pack. I have been using these a lot. I just ordered some more of them. They, they're like champagne, white, and black. So all, all the neutrals you need. So, oh, I only have big ones on there. So I need the other pack. I'm glad I ordered some. I used the champagne ones at Christmas time, I think, on a project. Okay. So I usually use one little one uh, and two big ones, or one big one and two little ones, so that you know you kind of have a a variety there. So uh, let's see, it's about right there. Okay, so that is our card. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and, and a like and share this video with your friends. Thanks.